Good morning. This is Dwayne, and I'd like to talk today about a useful way of voicing chords in force in the left hand. It gives you a nice full sound. I call it the 6-9 chord. But uh, before you go looking for it in your sheet music, you're probably never going to find it, because most people call it a 13th, but I don't. I call, I call it a 6-9 chord because it has the 6th note of the scale and the ninth note of the scale in it, along with the 3rd. And to, to, to get a, a proper sonority of that, you have to play it with the rest of the chord. So I'm playing a C chord, but I'm playing only the 3rd, the 6th, and the ninth. And the reason I do that is because there's an open voicing of force, a stack of force between E and A and A and D, and it gives it that open kind of sound. But Again, you have to establish the left hand feeling down here. You either have to play a root fifth and then play uh, the six nine chord, or the whole thing like that. Okay. For example, in the right hand, I'm playing C octave with G in the middle. Okay. And there's lots of songs that go like that. See that? Okay. Nice, nice voicing. But again, it, it, you won't find it in in, uh, in chord symbols because of that. I, I'm well aware that most people call that the 13th, but I don't call it the 13th because there's no 11th in it and there's no dominant 7th in it. Okay, so I call it a 6-9 chord. Now it's it's very useful, particularly if you play the blues, because listen. four chord, in other words a low F, then I can voice it like that, E flat, A, D. What's the difference? See the C chord was like that, wasn't it? E on the bottom. Now all I need to do is put E flat on the bottom. And if I can go up a half step for a little, a little different sound, that's, that's good as well. And then when I go to the 5-7 chord, then I can just move up one, one uh, white key from the, from the uh, C6-9 chord. Instead of E, A, D, I just move up to F, B, E, okay? So, uh, watch me just do it in my left hand without the low notes, okay? This is the C chord, I'm voicing a 6-9, and then I'm voicing the F 7th chord like that with the 7th on the bottom, and then I'm voicing the G 7th chord with the 7th on the bottom also, the 7th, the 3rd, and the 6th, uh, okay? So just a useful, a useful voicing for those of you that are a little more advanced. Uh, this is not for beginners, by the way. Okay, I understand that, and I hope you do too. But just uh, an alternate kind of voicing that's useful for you. By the way, if you're playing any kind of uh, new agey kind of music, you can improvise till the cows come home. Just, just on a half step slide between that 6-9 chord and the 6-9 chord that's a half step above it, okay? And you just, you, you play, you improvise on the key of C for that, and then the key of D flat for that next chord, okay? Kind of fun to do. All right, see you tomorrow with another idea. Bye-bye for now.